Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my heyday let's play. This is part six and this is actually the first part where I'm not pre-recording. I am back in the room, I am here for at least a month, hopefully, fingers crossed, if no travel comes up. That's the great thing about working with like brands and stuff, you never really know if anything's going to come up, so fingers crossed we have like a month straight of me being able to record, you guys being able to comment, and this kind of being like a collaboration between myself and you guys. So we are just joining these guys on Friday afternoon. I have a pretty big part planned. There's a lot of things I want to get done. There's a lot of things I need to check off that to-do list that has been building up in the comment section over the last five parts. Really quickly though, I do want to say thank you guys. Put that back. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. I remember one of you guys commented saying, Molly, I cannot believe you haven't made any oh my god jokes. So there you go. There's an oh my pun for you. But we're gonna put this in his inventory because I want to take these guys out for a cute little um I basically want to become friends with the people that I said we were going to become friends with. I think they're called like the Howls, the Green Howl household. I only remember that because of Dan and Phil and my comment on it in the last part. So yeah, we're going to go over to their house. He's made some clam chowder, but you guys have been commenting so many things on the last few parts of this LP. So big thank you to everyone getting involved and leaving giving feedback, you all seem to be in love with these sims as much as I am, which is great because usually I get complaints that I talk to my sims as if they are my children and that annoys some people because they're just like, oh my god, like how are you so annoying? But the thing is, I... I just feel like they're my family. When I play them, I get so proud and I call them my babies and it's just a lot, okay? I just have a lot of feelings and I care about people whether they are pixelated or not. All right, so this is where the family lived. We are gonna travel over here. We're obviously gonna bring Lionel with us. I'm not changing the name. I'm not changing how I say it. I'm not changing how I spell it. Loads of you said that you would pronounce this name the same way as me, so I am keeping it the way that it is. Is. But here we go. We got Lionel and Quincy and Omar. We're gonna go round to the Howell Green's house for this evening. Spend some time with them because obviously Lionel now has a little friend in Jaden, which is very cute. But we haven't spent a lot of time with his parents. I don't even know if they're gonna be in. Uh, they do have jobs. And speaking of jobs, I know so many of you want me to get Quincy into the programmer freelance career, so I will be doing that in this part. Trust me, there's a lot we need to get done. So this part is probably going to be pretty long. Strap in your seatbelts because it's about to be a ride, my friends. I'm feeling so amped up. Honestly, I went to Vegas and I met like two of my very favorite celebrities right now um, from Winona Up, and we just talked about The Sims. I was like, this is the most on-brand thing. I've paid money to meet these people and yet here I am talking about The Sims. Like, could you get a more molly thing if you tried? But let me put the clam chowder down. Uh, can we not change the way that it faces? Omar really wants to eat some clam chowder, but I want him to call to the meal, uh, even though he has one. I'm gonna stick that back in his inventory. 
Why are you angry? You've had a bad school day? Ugh, teachers can be so annoying sometimes. Our kid is just like raging out. Aw, he's gonna go hug Quincy though. I think Jaden is about to go grab some food. It doesn't look like his mums are coming in though. I don't know if they're kind of glitching out or what. Um, Krista is very hungry. She could be taken away soon. Well, she's not my child, so why should I deal with her? Uh, Quincy, come and grab a serving. Eat that clam chowder. What are you doing, boy? No, sit down and eat your clam chowder. And then why don't you come and also grab a serving? Because you're pretty hungry too. I really don't know what his parents are doing. I feel like they may be glitched out. So I'm going to reset you both and hopefully you will come to terms and start moving around. Or maybe you won't. Oh, I love how her converse match her hair. Get it, Kayla. I'm still shocked that this is EA content. Like, this looks like custom content to me. I've always thought that ever since we got that top. Oh my god, he's feeling so angry. He hasn't even spoken to Jaden yet. Jaden, oh, he's doing the dishes. He even cleared Omar's dishes away. What a little sweetheart. He's about to shout forbidden words. What? We just asked him to sleep over? He just used a swore word at the dinner table. Yes, I did say swore word. We can tell him he's gonna be okay. You'll be okay, buddy. But I am also going to parenting. The, the, I don't want to go to the talent showcase. Um, parenting, we're gonna discipline him. We are strictly, we're not gonna yell. I hate when people yell at their kids in public. Um, but we're gonna express our disappointment in him using forbidden words. Our mom is wondering if we want to come over. No, we're having a nice night with like new friends. So no, I do not want to come over. Uh, we should probably talk to the parents though because we haven't done that. So let's give a friendly introduction to these two. She's just currently talking to the baby. So we'll talk to Elizabeth instead. No, we won't. <laughs> Good joke. She's going to sleep in the kids bed which is kind of weird so let's give a funny introduction to Bailey instead honestly this is a mess <laughs> this part is not going the way I anticipated I think it's just really difficult to talk to people did you give her a funny introduction why is she feeling dazed we're gonna gush about our partner that is the most Quincy thing to ever happen get engaged in the last part and now whenever you meet someone new just like instantly gush about omar <laughs> quincy you're so cute i love him um let's ask her about her day see how it went considering it's a friday and we'll discuss the season premiere that we watched yesterday oh these two in the back hugging each other how freaking sweet are you? They're just watching TV together. They're watching a film, it looks like. I think they're watching like College Cram or something like that. It still weirds me out that the TV is Sims 3. Like seeing Sims 3 graphics is so strange. Is he just gonna go swim in the pool? You guys are so weird. Oh my God. Your child is the only sociable one. Quincy just really wants to sleep. Quincy, you don't do that in someone else's home. What is wrong with you? Oh my God, that is so weird. We should probably have a relationship with these two, to be honest. Like they looked after us for a while. He's currently acquaintances with this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna call them this one and that one. This is Elizabeth. No, this is Bailey. This is Elizabeth. Oh my god. I'm not gonna remember any of these Sims names. I am a terrible Simmer. I love how Quincy is just asleep whilst this baby is freaking crying her eyes out. Like, how are you asleep right now? I actually want to download some like actual like realistic baby mods um, because I kind of want the babies to look a little bit better and I want them to have like really cute rooms when we do start having 
babies. Which, speaking of, I did ask you guys if you wanted me to start having babies. And loads of you said that, you know, the house is still pretty small. They aren't really, like, they don't really have a lot of money to their name as of right now. Which I definitely agree with. And I want them to be ready for a baby um, and to adopt. And I don't really want to adopt a kid without being, like, prepared and knowing that we can take care of another child so I think we're gonna leave the adoption for a, a few parts at least um but a few of you were saying have them adopt a dog but I'm gonna send them to sleep because Quincy is just so tired like all he wants to do is go to bed uh he was actually up super early to go to work so yeah I'm gonna have them sleep and then I think we're gonna adopt a dog um because before he kind of leaves his job as a dog washer as you guys know he is a dog washer um some like old lady is gonna come in with this big alsatian actually which was one of your guys um comments one of you said can you get like an active dog like maybe like a german shepherd or an alsatian and i actually i'm probably gonna go for a german shepherd but maybe like a long-haired german shepherd we'll just have to wait and see but then it kind of like could be like a military dog for omar and like quincy could go for like runs with it and stuff and it also gives more responsibility to lionel so she's gonna have like a german shepherd and then because she's getting older she can't really take care of it anymore because they are big dogs and they have a lot of energy so she kind of just brings it in and she's like hey i want you to adopt this dog from me and quincy being quincy cannot say no to anybody <laughs> i don't know if omar is gonna be a fan of it honestly this might cause another fight because I'm fairly sure Quincy isn't gonna tell Omar about it. He's just gonna pretty much bring this dog home. So rip to you, Quincy. Um, be it on your shoulders, but hey, you do you. Oh my god, guys, this worked out so well. So we got this holiday big summer blowout. As you guys know, I am playing in Lil Simsy's save file. So she has like loads of holidays already set up and I don't really check the calendar too often, um, but we have the big summer blowout. So we have water fun, we have barbecue and we have drinking, which is great because if you're in the UK right now, like me, we are currently having our like five days of summer that we get throughout april each year honestly we love global warming the year i was born uh we had snow in april and now we're on like 25 26 degrees which global warming so much fun am i right ladies i mean the world's dying and we aren't doing anything about it but hey at least the UK is getting good weather. I'm sorry, that was a joke. That was sarcasm. I feel like I have to put it out there. That was most definitely sarcasm. But I think we're gonna actually invite around Quincy's family uh, because we haven't really hung out with them all too much. And like, we'll just have a little bit of a barbecue with them. I was actually thinking of buying a slip and slide and maybe like one of the water balloon things. I know we don't have too much money, which still we do need to get him into his new job. But before we do, I wanna add that doggo. Um, so we're gonna go into buy mode. We're gonna get some water fun, I mean, we could get a sprinkler oh my god these are so expensive 700 pounds for a water slide and this is like the most basic one as well like this is so depressing but let's get one of these bad boys we'll just add a slip and slide into the back garden and then what else did i say um we already have a barbecue so that's fine i was also thinking of getting the this the water balloon bucket i mean that is way better that's like freaking 300 simoleons I, no like 35 simoleons i can deal with that these are only for toddlers i think um so that's fine although like adults can get in them so i don't kind of want to buy one of these they're expensive i don't really have the money and we should be fine with what we have i'm not gonna buy a sprinkler either i mean if he prefers to play in a sprinkler over like a slip and slide then he's a weirdo watch it 
Lionel will be like that. He he's the type of kid that would probably prefer to play in a sprinkler. But you know, I was just talking about global warming, and we need to reduce our water rate and things like that. So let's calm down, Lionel. Very very wasteful. Although I feel like this is just as wasteful. So I should not be preaching right now. Uh, speaking of Lionel, where is he? Oh, he's having some clam chowder. That is disgusting. What's broken? Oh, the bath. Okay. Well, Quincy, why don't you come and repair this for me? Because honestly, your handiness skill is a little bit redonkulous, isn't it? From what I can remember. Um, I think you have a pretty high. He's level four in handiness. What's Omar in handiness? I feel like he might be pretty high. No, he's a level one. <laughs> Boy, got that finished so fast. Fast. So we're gonna mop up because it's making them all very uncomfortable and then Lionel after you've finished your Snakes, you can actually clean up a little bit. He's about to go read the board And I think we are gonna adopt this doggo Let's just use our imaginations and pretend that Quincy went into work today and the woman gave him this big German Shepherd so let me first of all I'm gonna check like the adoption but if there's not like a if there's not a dog that I want on there which I know sounds bad but I really really want a German Shepherd like I feel like it would fit the family so much um where even is like adopt a pet is it services I feel like it is services, but where is services? Uh, buy a vet clinic, purchase, hire hey, a service. What? Hire a service. <laughs> um, adopt a dog. Let's see what dogs they got up here. Prissy, Rosie, Joey, Apollo, Sadie. Oh my God, Sadie's a little pupper. She's an Alaskan Mal Malamute. Um, he's a Wheaton Terrier. I love Wheaton Terriers. A pointer, a German pointer, um, English Foxhound, a Rottweiler puppy. Oh no, he's an adult. He's a Rottweiler adult. What are you? A Cardigan Welsh Corgi. You're too tiny. Okay, so there's not a German Shepherd on there, which I really, really wanted. I mean, we could get ourselves a Rottweiler. Like, Rottweilers are also super energetic and, like, fairly big dogs, but I think I have my sights set on a German Shepherd, so I'm gonna get this German Shepherd, and I'm gonna be back with you guys in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna give this dog a name, but if you want me to change it, because obviously... I mean, it's a little bit harsh to change a dog's name, like, when they're, like, five or six years old, which is what I'm assuming this dog to be. But if you want me to change their name, then just let me know in the comments, and, like, Lionel can pick out a new name for the dog from your guys' comments. We got Fidget! This is Fidget Jameson. Oh, Quincy's out here just, like, already petting her. They've already become friends, which is so cute. <laughs> we're gonna hug her, and we're also going to praise her. She is adorable. I did go for more of, like, a long-haired coat on her uh, but I'm not the best at like coloring dogs in on The Sims 4 so I just left her with like a base coat so this is Fidget that's her current name she is a female and she is an adult uh, German Shepherd and of course we have not shown her to Quincy yet so we're gonna call Quincy over here not Quincy whoops um, we're gonna call Lionel over here so let's call over and we're gonna introduce him to Fidget no Fidget Fidget stay Fidget where is she going um, she looks like she's about to go pee in a bush dude I got you a dog let's go give her a treat I wish Sims had more of a reaction he's going through a phase he's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other sims oh no i hate the parenthood streaks oh man hopefully he won't be mean to the doggo hopefully he'll be super excited that he has a doggo to his name we're gonna get to know her oh she seems a little bit worried i mean she's never really grown up around children so she's probably gonna be like a little bit nervous at first like who is the small 
human like why is he talking to me i can't believe we haven't even told omar yet oh my god this is about to go down we're gonna add him to our group and then we're gonna we're gonna go here together and we're gonna be like sweetie um so i have some news um oh she's running around the back anyway oh my god he's about to see her <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He like stopped at the most perfect point. Look, he's like looking at her like who the hell is this? She's following him. Oh my god. This is so cute. Oh, she doesn't even know him. She, she, he's so not going to be impressed. Holy smokes. Hey, I heard you became friends. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. It's so hot as well. I can't believe she just followed him. We're going to go talk to her. Um, and we're also just going to be a little bit like, I think Omar will love her. And I think he will love having a dog. But... I think the thing is right now, he's like, Quincy, we've had this discussion before. Like, why the hell did you not tell me? Like, you can't keep doing this. Is he just on the slip and slide? Of course he is. Right, we are gonna go and not yell at him. We're not gonna break up with him, but we are going to argue about the house politics because... Quincy, you, I mean, I don't know how you can argue with this boy when he's wearing tiny little short shorts like that, um, but they're doing it in front of Lionel again. I hate when they fight in front of Lionel. Like, boys, you need to calm down. I mean, this isn't really fighting, they're just having a disagreement. Um... Excuse me, are you doing it? Yep, there we go. Oh, Lionel. Oh, he's going to go outside. He's going to go... He's going to go relax in his tent. He's going to go play in the tent. Because his dads are currently arguing. Boys! What are we going to do with these two? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Omar gets so into it. Like, look at his face. Quincy does wind him up, though. Did you see that? He always just stood there looking all bored. He's like, right, don't do this right now. We have parents coming around. Like, my mum's coming around. My family. You can't embarrass me in front of them. We'll bury the hatchet for now. We'll have this discussion later on, okay? Like, do not put me in a bad mood before my family come around. Omar's like, fine, whatever. He's so angry, though. You can see it. He is full on the yuming. But we're gonna plan a social event. Oh, he stalked off into the bedroom. He's like, oh, he looks so upset. Oh no, I know that's just the embarrassment because he has acne right now. But like, it make it makes him look really, really upset, and I hate that. Uh, so we're gonna have a house party. Um, cannot plan a gold event. Okay, that's fine. So the hosts are gonna be these two, and then we're gonna invite just our family. So Amelia, Anitha and Aaliyah. I think those are the only three. Yep. Three ladies. We aren't going to get an entertainer or a mixologist or a caterer. Um, I'm not really fussed about that because we're just going to host a barbecue. Um, we're going to have it at the Heyday residence. So fingers crossed they will come around. Um, dude, you can change your outfit. It's real, real hot outside and you guys are about to be barbecuing. I don't want you barbecuing in like jeans and shirts and stuff because it's real warm out there. So Omar, you can also change your outfit as well you don't need to get dressed fancy it's only your family like it's totally chill it's just a fun day out with the fam so you get changed into that he's actually gonna start grilling now um i think we're gonna make hmm oh steak oh yes argument loser oh that's why he's upset because he lost the argument Oh, I don't think I changed her outfit. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to party with her. Like, I don't need to change her outfit. But for those of you wondering, this is uh, Amelia. This is Quincy's cousin. Um, this is Aaliyah. This is his auntie. Um, she is freaking gorgeous. Like, you can see why Amelia looks the way she does. Oh, she looks so sad, though. What's the matter with her? 
Oh, we're gonna thank her for coming. I wanna know what's up with her. Um, let's tell a joke about monkeys. Oh, cause he always calls her monkey. That's so sweet. He, they grew up really close together. I've told you guys this before, but they were super, super close. Also, we need to get him into an after school activity. Loads of you guys said that I should get him into marching band because it kind of fits in with like Omar and wanting him to be athletic and like getting him into a sport because marching band is actually super demanding on your body and your health. So and it kind of ties in with the whole like military thing as well I feel like so it's a good tie-in for that so it's kind of gonna like please Omar in a way but then also it's quite creative because he'll get to like play an instrument maybe or like do routines and stuff like that so it's still pretty creative so loads of you told me to get him into the marching band and just said it was like the perfect thing for him so we are gonna join band I think I'm very very excited um I don't know how this works <laughs> Oh, oh no, it's still glitching out with the text boxes. I think that's because the the slice of life mod might not have been updated yet. <gasps> that's so annoying. Okay, uh, clearly um, I shouldn't have done that just yet, but we got him into one. I mean, I don't know how it works going about like choosing one, but I'm gonna end this part here because a lot has happened and I do want to focus on this like summer blowout in the next part. Like I don't want to rush it all in this part. Like I actually want to take my time and like have a full family fun day. So I'm gonna end this part here, but thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. And once again, just thank you for all the comments, all the support on this let's play i am actually gonna be changing the lifespan to long on these sims so that i can kind of decide when they're gonna age up and i don't feel like i'm rushing everything because i do want this to have like a longevity about it and be like quite natural in the aging process and things like that so i will be changing the lifespan to long and just thank you guys for getting involved you have some awesome ideas and feedback and i'm so glad that we have a little puppa now we're gonna be playing with her in the next part and it's just gonna be fun we're gonna have a proper like summer's day with the family so definitely tune in to the next part give this part a big thumbs up if you enjoyed let me know if you want me to change fidget's name or if we should just keep it as fidget i honestly think it's quite a cute name but let me know in the comments below and i will speak to you all in the next part of heyday Bye, guys.